and welcome to Lex of Paris. Today's video is all about this beautiful Chanel round clutch with chain. In today's video, I'll be sharing my thoughts and impressions on this clutch. And of course, I will show you how much and what you can actually fit inside of it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching, I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you love unboxings, handbag reviews, reveals, planning content, then you're definitely gonna love it over here. Go ahead and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So without further ado, let's talk about this gorgeous clutch. And the reason why I wanted to film today's video is because when I made up my mind that I wanted to add this beautiful bag to my collection, I went to YouTube to look at some reviews of this particular bag. And unfortunately, I didn't find too many reviews the few reviews that I did come across, they weren't as detailed enough. So I decided to go ahead and take the plunge and purchase this bag. By the way, this was purchased pre-love. I didn't purchase it brand new from the boutique because for some reason, even though this bag isn't as popular, but I know in my local boutiques, these are hard to come by. For those of you guys that are interested in this piece, or if you've seen it on the pre-love market or even at your local boutique, but you're not sure if you should pull the trigger on this piece because you simply don't know if it's going to carry all of your essentials then hopefully today's video will help you make a decision as to whether or not you should add this beautiful clutch to your collection so first let's talk about the detailed features so the one that i own is in the beautiful black caviar leather with the gold hardware and you do have the gorgeous CC logo on the front. As I mentioned, this bag comes with a beautiful chain and it's the traditional chain that you would see on a classic flap or even your Chanel wallet on chain bag. Here's a look at the back of the clutch. So it's plain, you have no exterior pockets on the back and no logo. And here's a look at the bottom. So as you guys can see, it's just a round or circular bag. Let's go over the dimensions. It is 4.75 inches in length by 4.75 inches in height by 2.25. The strap drop is 23.5 inches, so it is a fairly long strap and it does sit very low against my body. For reference, I am 5'4", so if you are 5'4 or shorter, it is going to sit very low. I don't mind it. I prefer to wear this bag cross body, to be honest with you. I feel it's a little bit too long when I rock it as a shoulder style bag. And I will go ahead and share some mod shots with you guys so that you can see exactly how it looks against my petite body frame. retails for 2700 us dollars i will also leave the equivalent in euros on the screen for you guys however i paid less than retail value and that is one of the reasons why i wanted to purchase this bag from the pre-love market as of today's video i do see that fashion file currently has the same exact bag on their website and it's about 75 dollars less than the retail value so that's not a huge savings these pop up on the pre-love market all the time so if you are truly interested in this piece you can find it at a reasonable price under retail here's a look at the interior of the bag and it features a burgundy cloth lining and it just has one main compartment not a whole lot of organization inside of this tiny bag towards the back you have your maiden stamp and then it also has a slip pocket towards the back right over here, right where my finger is. Look at the opposite side, and I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but I'm going to get a little bit closer. You also have another slip pocket right where my finger is. So this clutch contains two slip pockets. It also features this piece of leather tab, and underneath this leather tab is your serial code, which corresponds to the serial number that is on the authenticity card. In terms of what you can actually fit inside of this clutch, you're only going to be able to fit your bare essentials inside of this bag. I do enjoy using this bag on the weekend. What's great about this bag is that you can dress it up, you can dress it down, 
or if you want to use it for a special event or a wedding you can also do so if i don't need much with me on that particular day and just the bare essentials this is a nice bag that i reach for i don't use it often i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that this is a bag that gets used often in my collection However, I do enjoy utilizing this bag on days that I want to downsize or if I'm going to a special event, a wedding, even utilize this beautiful clutch a couple of times for date night. Now let me go ahead and show you what you can actually fit inside of this tiny clutch. You can actually fit your keys and this one is the Louis Vuitton 4 ring key holder and the discontinued mm -hmm. multicolor noir. This is what the four key holder looks like inside of the clutch. So it does lay flat. Unfortunately, you're not able to fit a card holder inside of this clutch because of the shape of the card holder. The card holder is the same length as the clutch, but because of its circular silhouette, it's very difficult to place your card holder in here. And I'll just go ahead and show you so you guys can see. This is how the card holder looks when you place it inside of the clutch. It's about the same length as the clutch. When I do carry this clutch, what I like to do is just carry my debit cards and my driver's license loosely inside of one of the slip pockets. So that's where they come in handy. So I'll just go ahead and show you. So I currently have four cards. So you can either place the cards this way inside of the slip pocket. You can lay them flat. And this is how I like to place them inside of that slip pocket. So I currently have the four cards placed comfortably inside of the slip pocket and you also have the other slip pocket on the other side of the clutch if you wanted to add additional cards however four cards is more than sufficient for me but if you do like to carry a lot of cards with you you can easily fit up to honestly six cards on one end and six on the other so you can comfortably fit 12 cards total inside of this clutch so i like to carry hand sanitizer with me i'm going to go ahead and place it in the clutch and that fits perfectly inside of the clutch lipstick will also fit you can also carry a mini hand lotion your airpods will also fit if you like to carry them inside of your bag i like to separate my key fob from my house keys that are currently in the four key holder that i showed you guys earlier that also fits with all of the contents that i currently have stored inside Here's a look at all of the contents that I currently have stored inside. So again, I have my AirPods, lotion, a lipstick, four key holder, my Dragon key holder, and a total of four cards. Now, given the silhouette of this clutch, unfortunately, you're unable to place your smartphone inside of it. Regardless of how tiny your smartphone is, it's not going to fit because of the silhouette. I know that's a deal breaker for many people, especially with this price tag. But as I mentioned, this isn't a bag that I use on a regular basis. So a couple of options that you have for those of you guys that must carry your phone with you. Obviously, number one, you can carry it in your hand or in your pocket if you're wearing an outfit that have pockets. However, when I do reach for this bag, I tend to carry my Apple Watch. So if you own an Apple Watch, that's also a great solution instead of carrying your phone in your hand. If you don't like the idea of carrying your phone in your hand, or even in your pocket. I know some people don't like to carry their phone in their pockets, or even if you're wearing an outfit that doesn't have any pockets, if you own an Apple Watch, then that's also another solution. Obviously, if you don't own an Apple Watch, then your only option would be to either carry your cell phone in your hand or in your pockets if you do have pockets. However, I just wanted to share some options with you guys. So now let me go ahead and close the bag so that you guys can see how she looks fully stuffed and closed. Zipper is smooth as butter. And here are the details of the zipper pull and it's actually just a piece of leather. Here's a look at the back and here's a look at the top of the bag. And as you guys can see, it closes perfectly. The zipper pull is intact and in shape. It's not wonky. And this is exactly how you want the bag to look. So that is pretty much all you'll be able to fit inside of this bag. In terms of the price tag, I don't think it's worth it to purchase it directly from the boutique. I do think $2,700 is a hefty price for a small bag that you can barely fit your smartphone. However, as I mentioned, you can get it for much cheaper from the pre-love market. That concludes my review of the Chanel round clutch with chain. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. As always, I thank you so much for tuning in to Lux of Paris, and I will chat with you guys on my next video.